what's up everybody, this is Muth24, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the 1 to 144 scale high grade Buster Gundam from Bandai's Gundam Seed line. Uh, you got a nice shot of the Buster Gundam here on the front with both of his weapons deployed and the missile pods open. Uh, taking a look at the side here, you've got uh, front and back shots, some action poses, the Buster Gundam again on the side, and on the top you've got uh, Diarca Elsman, as well as a, a little highlighting of the uh, Ale Strike, Duel, Assault Shroud, and the um, Aegis, also from the high grade line. Taking a look at the manual, got again the Buster Gundam on the front there with his action poses. Pop it open, got some info on the series and the Gundam itself, instructions on how to build, and then the uh, paint application if you were going to paint the kit up. Um, I did not go ahead and actually paint the Buster Gundam. But I did panel line him with my uh, fine point gray Gundam marker. So the colors you're going to get right out of the box here are this tan for the majority of the body. You get this very dark green for the chest and the shoulders. And a gray for the inner bits, the hands, parts around the legs and his weapons. And then you're going to get a uh, uh, orange for the uh, uh, shoulder missile pods and the uh, side skirt armor, the kneecaps, the top of the head. The stickers you get on this kit are these little gray bits around the shoulders, these two orange bits on the side of the face, as well as the eyes and the green camera, which is uh, pretty much hidden beneath this uh, orange vent thing here. So, uh, not too many stickers. Um, I guess my only complaint with those is the fact that you really can't see that green camera behind the vent, but it's really not that big of a deal. In terms of posability for the Buster Gundam, it's a bit limited just because of the fact you've got his big uh, cannons here on the back that are connected to uh, his waist armor. Um, but for the most part, it's pretty solid. The head can rotate 360, no problem. can go up and down on the polycap ball joint. The arms, if you move this uh, tip at the shoulder here, which can just swing back and forth, if you move this up and out of the way, you can get the arm to go up about that high. Uh, the whole thing can um, rotate... 360, assuming you get the uh, the rifle bit out of the way there. The elbow will bend about 90 degrees. The hands are just ball joints, so they can rotate 360, wiggle. Um, the torso can rotate side to side, although I do find that it can wiggle a little bit. I don't know if it's supposed to or not, because I think it's just a peg that goes through there, but... Um, Hey, you got a little bit more posability, which isn't, you know, a bad thing by any means. The front skirt, which isn't that long, can go up all the way, and the legs can go forward that far, backwards that far, out to the sides about that far, and can bend at the knee a little bit past 90 degrees. And then the foot can go back and forth, and then there's this little ball joint down here which allows it to wiggle a little bit. Technically the side skirts are connected to the body with these uh, little polycap hinges, but because of this connection to the uh, rifle in the backpack here, you're only going to get a little bit of movement out of those. Uh, the missile compartments here can flip up on either one of the shoulders, although there's really no connection there. It's just a little part that sits into, so as you can see there, like that bit just fell off, the little part that uh, acts as the door, if you will. Um, so you're going to find that that will pop off uh, time and time again. Allowing the Buster Gunham to use both of his weapons at the same time is easy enough. All you're going to do is pop these out of the backpack and swing them down and then uh, kind of adjust them until they fit snugly into his hands. And I'd say the effect of the two weapons deployed at the same time is pretty nice. But why settle for two smaller weapons when you combine them to make a larger, more powerful one? And to do that, you're just going to have to adjust these bars on the um, sides of the Buster Gundam to kind of make a slightly curved bit in the back and then almost like a half of an S shape in the front here. And this configuration is the uh, larger rifle. Or if you prefer, you can configure it into a bazooka. 
So can I recommend the 1144 scale high grade Buster Gunham for a thousand yen price tag? Absolutely. I mean that's roughly 11 US dollars and for the posability you get with this kit it's pretty good. Obviously it's going to be hindered a little bit by the weapons but at the same time the weapons are pretty nifty for this kit. Um, you don't have to put a whole lot of effort into it to make it look nice but obviously if you want to paint it it will probably look better. Overall I'm quite pleased with the high grade kit and it's even better because the Buster Gunham is one of my favorite mobile suit designs from Gundam Seed. Don't forget to rate and comment below, subscribe if you like what you see, and with that, I will see you guys next time.